Hello guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. The previous weekend didn't go exactly to plan for some clubs. This gives the te them teams the right time to get back on track just before the international break. You know, so there's a few things to talk about. There's an update on VAR in the championship. Um, whether you've seen it or not, the story is that the championship referees are training with VAR. Um, it's a friendly at St George's Park. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I've seen some, you know, of the decisions that obviously in the championship you don't get to have a second look at. But if you watch my VAR video on the Premier League and how they're using it wrongly, which they are, um, if the Championship do the opposite, it should be okay. Um, but, you know, feel free to go check that video out and I'll make that appear at the end of this video. But anyway, guys, you know what I do, so you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Nottingham Forest versus Derby County. Derby County beating Middlesbrough 2-0 at home. Notch Forest beating Luton Town 2-1 at home. Let's not forget this game is important to both teams. It's a big derby. Um, you know, two big rivals going head to head. Um, Martin Keown's been sat by Derby. I think that's wrong. Um, you can have your own opinion on it. I I still don't get how Derby have sacked Martin Keown and let the other two stand when the other two were at fault. I really do find that really wrong. Um, but on the Forest side, it looks up most of the way at this present time. Um, you know, plan at Forest's ground and the likes of, you know, the players they got. Um, I think Nottingham Forest could be possibly promotion candidates and um, playoffs, I mean, um, not automatic. Even though there is still a long way to go and they could be automatic on May. Um, but this game is going to be interesting and this game is going to be one I'm going to be looking forward to uh, tuning in and watching. And for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Nottingham Forest win. Sorry, Derby fans. Um, my next one is Barnsley versus Stoke. Stoke lost 2-0 at home to West Bromwich Albion. Barnsley drawing 2-2 at home against Bristol City. Let's talk about Stoke first. Stoke have sat Nathan Jones. Um, rightly or wrongly... I think I remember tuning into that Stoke West Brom game uh, on the Monday night. I'm looking at Stoke, and bearing in mind how old I am, um, and bearing in mind what I've seen of Stoke in the future, will we do that long throw against Arsenal? Who could forget that? that was just funny. That was funny in one way, but. You know, quite surprising, and that's how the long throws came into the English game. Um, Lights of Crouch, you know, all these great players that's played for Stoke. And now they've gone downhill really fast. Sacking Nathan Jones, that could be a big mistake, but we're going to have to wait and see. See who they bring in, and then obviously work it from there. Um, I know Rory Delaps in the manager's seat at the minute. Um, Stoke fans, can you tell me if he's just a caretaker or oh, he's got the permanent manager's job, please? Um, Barnsley, 2-2 against Bristol City. Um, Barnsley went 2-0 down in that game. I remember tuning in on that game on the Friday night. Um, basically, Bristol City should have had the three points, but Barnsley managed to pull the last-minute goal back. One of the last-minute goals I've seen in my lifetime, I think it's basically ne nearly last touch. Um, but you know, great teams going at, 
going up a big relegation battle, teams this is. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Barnsley win. My next one is Birmingham City versus Fulham. Birmingham City losing 4-2 away to Cardiff. Fulham beat uh, losing 4-0, uh, sorry, losing 3-0 at home to Hull City. Disappointed day for Fulham. Um, probably more so than Birmingham. Um, even though Birmingham have got their own expectations now and slightly looking up on the third job where they've been um, in previous weeks. Fulham, I don't know what happened to Fulham. Um, obviously a bad day at the office and they were at home, which makes it more disappointing. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3-2 Fulham win. My next one is Hull City versus West Brom. Um, Hull City beating Fulham 3 0 away from home, just as you mentioned that. West Brom beating Stoke City 2 0 away from home as well. So both teams are away from home the previous weekend, both teams coming up with three points. Um, I, no disrespect to Stoke. But I think the most surprising result is that whole film result. Um, I remember looking at um, the scores as I do on a Saturday. I, you know, I sit down and watch the scores, um, and I remember thinking, Fulham must be doing something seriously wrong. No disrespect to Hull, but you know, great three points for Hull. Um, West Brom, as I've said, Stoke are disappointing, don't know what Stoke are doing, don't know, what, don't even know what kind of pattern of play Stoke is trying to be playing, to be honest. Um, but great three points for West Brom, still had to go to the uh, Bet365 Stadium and get the job done. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 nil West Brom win. My next one is Leagues versus Blackburn. Leagues beating QPR 2-0 at home. Blackburn beating um, Sheffield Wednesday 2-1 at home. Great three points for both clubs again. Uh, you know, Leagues are really trying to keep winning their games now, trying to stay on top. I know Preston are top at this current time. Um, you know, and the, as I said, there's still a long way to go in this season. Um, a lot of twists and turns to come, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, great three points from both clubs, as I've just said. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Leagues United win. My next one... Is Millwall versus Charlton. Charlton losing 1 0 at home to Preston North End. Uh, Millwall losing 2 1 away to Reading. Um, Preston are a difficult club. I've already said that deep that was a hard place to go. Um, Millwall disappointed out of the office, um, losing 2 1 to Reading. That's another interesting fixture coming up in a minute. Um, but, you know, disappointing day for both clubs. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 all scoreline for that one. My next one is Preston North End versus Huddersfield. Preston North End beating Chowton Athletic 1 0 away from home, just as you mentioned that. Huddersfield beating Brentford 1 0 away from home as well. Huddersfield's problems are over, as it stands. They're starting to get a bit of pattern of play. I can't remember the last game I watched of them. But, you know, I've been keeping a close eye on Huddersfield over the past couple of weeks. Um, their pattern of play seems to be working pretty well. Um, and then you've also got, you know, the new managers, and that something's obviously working there. Um, Preston, as I've said, 1-0 uh, winners away from home. 
tough team to play Preston and sit on top of the championship as it stands. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Preston win. My next one is QPR versus Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough losing 2 0 away from home to Derby. QPR losing 2 0 away from home to Leeds. Um, how do I. I think, to be honest, if I'm all honest with you, I think Jonathan would get be the next manager to go in the championship. Um, yeah, again, I think Middlesbrough's got the same problems that uh, that uh, Stoke got. QPR just bad at the office, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 QPR win. My next one is Reading versus Luton. Reading beating two, Reading beating Millwall two one at home. Luton losing two one away. Um, sorry, at home to Notts Forest. Both teams, I think Nathan Josh has stayed at Luton. Um, great three points for Reading. You know, going forward, is that a step in the right? Well, obviously it's got to be a step in the right direction. So, so it's going to be an interesting game this uh, weekend. And as I said on the top of this video, the international break is literally just around the corner. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Swansea City. Um, Sheffield Wednesday beating, uh, sorry, losing 2-1 away from home against Blackburn. Swansea beating Wigan 2-1 away from home. Um, this Sheffield Wednesday team, I always look at, um, you know, um, as promotion candidates. I know they've gone downhill a lot since then, um, but I think the championship, the more I'm doing these kind of videos, the more I'm looking into it. If you don't get promoted, you know, I remember Reading getting in the um, playoff places um, under Yapsam, and they're nowhere in sight now. Same with Sheffield Wednesday, you know. Same with I think Swansea got that there the first. Stoke's another one. It's football such a um, you know fifty fifty sport. If you don't take your chances one season, you know. You could be waiting a long time before you get another chance, like in the playoff places. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. The next one is Wigan Athletic versus Brentford. Wigan losing 2-1 two, uh, two at home against Swansea. Brentford losing 1-0 at home against Huddersfield. So both these teams are going to you know, really go want the three points. As I've said, the international break's just around the corner. So as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Wigan win. My last one for this weekend is Cardiff City versus Bristol City. Um, Cardiff beating um, Birmingham 4-2 at home. Bristol City... 2-2 away from home against Barnsley. Bristol City have got to be so downhearted from that game. As I've said, I remember watching it. Bristol City thought had the three points and then Barnsley score and take a point. That could be a vital point for Barnsley coming the end of the season. Cardiff, probably a bit of a surprising result. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Bristol City win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So, uh, big fat fun. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.